because let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. We're talking about a rated R movie that hasn't come out yet. It's coming. This is the preparation for the film. What to watch before Deadpool and Wolverine. We got so much flack about this graphic. I Bro. loved it. The internet tore us apart, and I was here for it. Who in their right mind would watch all these movies? One comment said. Who in yeah. there? Who you guys don't have a you guys don't have a life was one comment. It was fucking <laughs> perfect, and I was like, uh, really? Yeah, I on was like, uh, maybe we have the best life. I actually, what was the comment on? Man, uh, it was on YouTube. Uh, a lot of comments on oh, YouTube. YouTube kid, Spotify okay. has now comments. If you're listening and watching us in spot on Spotify, I think we're one of the best looking podcasts in Spotify. Check us out there. Deadpool and Wolverine comes out July 26th, and yeah, we're gonna be seeing this thing at the screen and social just a few days later. We do have a date. We're gonna tell our only. Our only fans. <laughs> <laughs> only our fans. We don't have any of those yet. Only our fans. July 28th. It's a Sunday morning. Yep. Mark your calendar. That's all you know for now. Keep an eye on the website. Keep an eye on our Instagram because it is limited seating. I cannot even fool you. And like we've said, don't wait for us to see this movie. We're going to see it early. We're going to see it again. And then we'll see it at the screen and social. So Deadpool Wolverine, there is a lot to this movie. And I have a nice little synopsis to set us up for this film, and then do a nice round table, okay? So you can follow along with us, even you guys here in the studio. We have a QR code up on the screen. Feel free to scan it if you're watching this on your TV, maybe mounted by Maurice. And there's a QR code where you can go to our website and follow along. Just a little context so you know what you're getting into for this film, okay? The upcoming Disney Marvel movie, Deadpool and Wolverine, is set to be a game changer in the MCU. The film is a result of an acquisition of 21st Century Fox, which has brought together characters from separate universes under one roof. The merger has allowed for the integration of characters like Deadpool and the X-Men to join the existing MCU, where Iron Man and Thanos live, right? Mm -hmm. People don't know this stuff. We want to help you out, and people shouldn't feel dumb to go see a comic book movie. So this is just part one of helping you out. A little bit about the plot. We're keeping it super vague because we're not trying to necessarily predict what's going to happen about this. But we are just going to kind of talk about what we're excited to see. In the movie, Wolverine, played by Hugh Jackman, coming back, is recovering from some injuries. He crosses paths with Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. We've heard this might be like, you know, maybe five, six years since Deadpool 2. Yeah. Which everybody in this room has been watching. Yeah. We're going to talk about those. And they team up to defeat a common enemy. Um, there's a big multiverse connection, man. If you've been watching Marvel stuff, this is the list that we kind of have listed up of things you could keep in mind. Loki is a great TV show about the multiverse and kind of about time. And uh, if you haven't watched all of Loki, there are two seasons. Don't worry about it. Look up a five minute explainer video or something, you know, look up just kind of like a, what is Loki? If you've ever yeah. seen the show, you don't need to necessarily watch it all. But there's going to be stuff from that show that kind of explains what happens to Deadpool because he's going to essentially kind of be ripped from his universe and, and pulled in. And then the last thing you might want to keep in mind, then we'll do some roundtable is the villain. Her name is Cassandra Nova. And, you know, this is somebody I don't know from, like, the movies. So if you've been watching the movies, you're not going to know who this is. You know who Cassandra Nova is from the comic books. I and, and I learned from Jenna Anderson from comicbook.com that was on here a few weeks back. She's essentially maybe like a, a twin of Professor Xavier. Really? From yes. the mutants. Really? Scotty, could yeah. you expand? Please. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, Professor X turned out to be a twin. Um, Cassandra Nova wasn't, like a full baby, I guess, when she was born. She was kind of just a uh, uh, a clump of cells and slowly turned into a person over time. Um, so uh, she's got a similar power set to Professor X, and I, I don't know if this movie kind of just plucks her from the multiverse as a villain. Right. And this is what you should expect in this movie. This is a multiverse movie. So multiverse movies that have happened so far have been Spider-Man No Way Home, where yeah. you get different versions yeah, of, of villains. Yeah, and yeah. You know, you know, well, I would still watch the spoilers because there's a lot of new fans yeah. out there. A lot of new fans trying to pick this stuff up. But it might be good for you to know that like it's a multiverse movie. If you haven't watched any multiverse movies, there's always a lot of different versions of characters. Um, okay, so that's really just kind of the synopsis, the little background. The release date, again, is July 26th. We have the list pulled up on the screen. Let's do a roundtable and just talk about what we're excited to see. Like I said, a lot of us have watched these movies recently to get caught up. If you want to know what you should be watching, the Deadpool movies are Deadpool, Deadpool 2, and they did a side movie called Once Upon a Deadpool that was like a kid's kind of spinoff movie that they kind of played off of 
uh, I think they PG Fred Savage. Down Fred Savage was in it. Deadpool two. I think they just PG down. Deadpool That's what 2. it was. Yeah. I couldn't even remember. It was the same movie, just kind of yeah. toned down. And then the Wolverine dude, Hugh Jackman. Yeah, he has been fifteen plus freaking titles. Clink them. Clink, Clink them. Slash. Uh, they got him to come back. We've been spoiled on the yellow suit. It's all right. in the market. It's at the movie theater. You go to the movie theater. You look oh, up. You? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll, we're going to find out. All right, Maurice, talk to us. We'll go to you first, man. This is a movie that's coming up. You're coming off of these other two films. Maybe it's usually best to start with, I think, with guests. Is like, what's your relationship with these movies and like the MCU stuff? Uh, so my relationship with um, X-Men movies, I loved I, I loved Logan. Logan was probably a, a great movie for me. Um, I think that was that the one where he came out with his daughter? Yeah. Yeah. So Logan. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Logan 20, is a 2017. 2017 yeah. Logan is a must watch. This is yeah. old man Logan comics. His, yeah. his claws aren't really coming out. We yeah. might see a little bit of that. And then we turn mutants haven't been around. Spoiler alert for the movie. Mutants haven't been around for like 20 years in this movie. Yeah. And he's like, he's him and Professor X. And then it turns out there's like a little Wolverine girl. Yeah. Because who do you have sex with? Like, <laughs> no, it was a clone. She's a clone. Yeah. X oh, it was. It was, it was a clone. Her, her name is Laura Kenny. Yep. She uh, is, is known good. as X23, and that is because they tried 22 times to clone Wolverine. Well, he was number and 10. She, and <laughs> well, and, and she was the one who, who worked. Yeah. Finally. And I bet we see her. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Yeah. And she, I hope to. She had the freaking cool two-way claws and the claw and in her foot. And the foot claw, yeah. The female claw. Yeah. The female claw. Uh, I mean, that's a great one. I like. I, I liked X Men Origins Wolverine. It's got its problems. Oh, they man. they ruined Deadpool. Like it was a real <laughs> yeah, problem with yeah. what they did with Deadpool. But I was into some of it, not all of it. Um, I think there's some good mutants in it. Um, okay. And then you watched Deadpool two. Did you watch it today? Well, actually, I tried to. It's okay. If you I, didn't. I, 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 We're I not doing to, a I'll recap. Try, or yeah, I try, I try to get a yeah, snippet out. This is I didn't watch it either. Oh, I knew it. He didn't yeah. say shit in our group. Too. I watched <laughs> it like two weeks ago. Well, on, I, on vacation, I didn't rewatch it today. Like yeah. I, I've seen I this trying. movie a hundred times. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't it's remember like, any vague scenes because I was like, I tried to because I watched it when it first came out, and then it was like, it was a blur. Well, give me, give me some reminders. I'll give you some reminders. Spoiler alert for the movies, okay? Obviously, this is the third Deadpool film, so if you're coming off the first two, you might want to see those. Okay, Deadpool one is awesome. It's the real intro of the character. Uh, R- Wade Wilson is a regular guy that ends up falling in love and kind of going from his uh, his dirty life of being a side mercenary to like trying to be like a cool guy with his new girlfriend and future wife. Right. Vanessa. Vanessa. <laughs> right? Vanessa, yes. And <laughs> I can't remember the actor's name. That's what I always go uh, to. Marina Baccarin. Yes. Wow, wait, great job, Scott. Yeah. And Fire, turns out that Firefly. Dude, dude, the guy <laughs> dude, he gets cancer unexpectedly yeah. and like it's like game over and he, in an effort to save himself he goes to a mutant camp they give him these powers it makes him ugly puffy skin looks like he just got crazy puffy ugly skin but he's a badass he heals just like wolverine he's got crazy fighting skills like great depth perception he can do like crazy jumps and kicks and then deadpool 2 um you know he defeated the bad guy came back deadpool 2 his girlfriend died in the first five minutes yeah they call crazy. that call that fridging the girlfriend Immediately, Frigging girlfriend just yeah. killed her. We don't need her anymore. Oh yeah. my gosh! Spoiler alert for the movie: uh, he ends up building a team, like an X Force team, <laughs> super Including funny. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, invisible guy, Brad Pitt. <laughs> um, a lot of funny freaking things. Uh, Domino, like Domino, she's yeah. awesome. Um, you get Juggernaut. You get uh, what was the main kid's Cable. name? Cable was in that movie. Who was the kid yeah. that was the, the fire kid? Uh, oh my god he was yeah. he was hilarious the funniest kid he's the main the villain new zealand accent is oh my hilarious gosh. Uh, and, and some other stuff and here's the big thing you need to know from this movie Talk cable has time travel watch oh, that's nice it yeah. only had two charges when he used it time sliding but they fixed it and deadpool at the end of the movie big spoilers here man he t- steals the time travel device and he does a whole bunch of stuff he kills the Deadpool that was in that Wolverine movie, he goes back and shoots him in the head, and he's like, that Deadpool's dead. He goes back to himself, Ryan Reynolds, and gets behind him when he's signing the contract for the, for Green, the yeah. Green Lantern movie. <laughs> That's crazy. And he goes, boom, Ryan Reynolds is You're... dead. Like, he, And then he comes back, and apparently he saves, he, his girlfriend. he saves his girlfriend, obviously. So that's how the movie ended, and now this movie's going to be like a time travel group called the TVA from the show Loki is going to come in and be like, hey, you're messing with time. You're messing with time. Yeah. And they're going to take him, and this is how he'll learn about the MCU and I'm have like, some yeah, kind you of You can't mess with time, dude. You can't. That's it. Make sure you go watch a recap on Loki. I can't wait. A little I'm YouTube so... recap just to make sure you know. 
Yeah. Yes. Little re- recap on uh, Loki. Like you know, maybe watch a recap movie on the Deadpool films nope. if you didn't watch them recently. You're gonna you need to re- watch a recap. Like Looper's surely got a video out there of like all the Wolverine appearances yeah. meshed up into one 15 minute video. But we did so. it for you too in this screen. You know, you can definitely yeah. see them all. I mean, the X Men first class films. Like he was in a lot of those, which is hilarious. Uh, Hugh Jackman. Um, we bring up the 20th Century Fox movies like Daredevil and Elektra, and I definitely do have some theories that like we might see some really old characters it's multiverse it's multiverse it's the multiverse and you just made and it's like what can we do from the fox properties exactly. yes what can we cut from here and bring forward they're gonna bring somebody nice and guess what disney plus did they put daredevil the movie with ben affleck in the defenders category with yeah. the rest of the tv shows and he, that's a movie well, yeah why not but i think it was on the featured too it's multiverse i'm telling you they give you hints about this shit like it's gonna yeah. it's gonna happen um, Fantastic Four. Maybe we get like a Jessica Alba comeback. Maybe Electra comeback. Ele- Electra probably. Uh, Chris Evans was the original Human Torch. Oh True. man! If they bring him back, if they bring him back as just, Human just Torch, just a little snippet. It will burn the internet down. Yep. Just a little snippet. Okay. Those are the things that I really hope happen. Just go crazy yeah. with all, flame all of those things. <laughs> flame on. Give me flame on. on, bro. It's been a minute. Honestly, what they, they need to do is. The new formula now, just so you know, for success for these superhero titles moving forward has been decided in X-Men 97. They're going to start burning through plot, and it it's going to be like seven. It's going to be like a, if the if the season of a TV show in the MCU has 10 episodes, every episode is going to be a finale. That's where we're headed. That was what happened with X-Men 97. That's what it felt like. It did. It was awesome. I can't wait to rewatch it as soon as we get done here. Um, <laughs> yeah. For the 20th time. Um, okay. What I want to talk about now is the x many things <laughs> that's a made up that has happened in the MCU thus far. So we always say this is kind of spoiler town for MCU, but if you're a new fan that's like, I don't know anything, like what I'm about to say probably won't mean anything to you. So don't worry about it. But if you're a but fan- you can that, always look it up though. You, know? you can look it up. But if you're following along, if you are the diehard MCU fan, okay, let's just talk about where we've seen some stuff. Uh, all right, there's a TV show called Miss Marvel. It was really good. At the end of the season, it was teased that she might be a mutant. Not only with a line in the show, but a in the background. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Um, we also had um, in WandaVision. Ralph. Ralph Boner. <laughs> and Ralph Boner was this guy that they brought back Quicksilver. Um, Evan Peters, Quicksilver. Evan Peters, yeah. And he was in the WandaVision show, which was in 2020. And it was like, whoa, that is right from a Fox property. And then right. it turned out to be just like a mislead. It's yeah. non yeah. but, but, it mid- but it was him. The MCU had Fox. already had a Quicksilver who was in Deadpool 2 for about two seconds. As, also, and, as Quicksilver. There's in a, Deadpool 2? Yeah. For like two sec, They're in the, What's in the X-Mansion and for like two seconds they open up the door. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, that was Evan, see like Evan the, Peters. The first Evan class. Peters. Evan I'm, Peters. I'm talking about the... Yeah, the You're yeah. talking about Wanda's brother. Right. In the MCU, Ralph, played by from Aaron, Avengers, who was kick ass too. Yeah, what's that guy's uh, name? Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yes, he played Quicksilver in the MCU. Yes. So you know you get these like multiverse versions. That's very much yeah. what's going on in this movie. Multiverse. Just a lot of people from a lot of different series just coming in. Just wow. Yes. Quick scene. This is going to be a hundred percent fan service. Facts. Have you? Please. S- All right. What about the Marvels? Everybody seen the Marvels? Yeah. You know, yeah. You, I know you two have. Yeah. Right. You see that? Don't, don't count me out. Brie Larson. Don't count me out. I won't. Did you see it? No. It's okay. I won't. You're, you're in. Yeah. It's good. But yeah, exactly. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Give me reason to want to go. Yeah. Right. Um. The end credit Seventy-five scene. percent of the movie is <laughs> awesome. Okay, but that's a, that's a good enough reason for me. Shit. At the end of that movie, spoiler alert. Sorry, we got to talk about it right now. There is an end credit scene where there's a tear in the universe, and on that other side, we do see some X Men. Ooh. Beast. Beast. Ooh. Full, full blue beast, and that was the first time that it was like. And we saw the X uh, mansion, like uh, Cerebro's entry, yeah. you know. And it was like that was the first time in the MCU that like the X Men were on screen. What's happening here is it's the first time that it's the title characters, and they're both from the Fox properties. Mm-hmm. Context, yeah. Questions, thoughts, Scotty. Um, just uh, one, one or two things. Like if you're going to see this movie, remember that uh, Deadpool is self aware. That he is in Very a movie. Much. Yeah. Fourth, he's, f- breaks down the fourth wall. He Ferris breaks Bueller. the fourth wall. That's crazy. It, it, over it, and over and yeah. over. He's going to say actors' names. Yes. 
He's he's going to call out characters from movies he wasn't in. And he'll say like the unsaid stuff that yeah. maybe the MCU has like we haven't got to say about stuff. Like, like you know, if if you see Chris Evans show up as the Human Torch, he's gonna say, "Holy shit, it's fucking Chris Evans!" <laughs> How do you know this? Right? Yeah. Uh, no, where'd you get this information from? Well, I'm just yeah, spitballing here. Yeah, from our experience. Right. It's crazy. This is a you know, this is a lifetime, almost a forty year knowledge of comic books and, and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's. No, that's it's paying off that's right now. Best, honestly, the best parts of the of the first two movies is just the the fourth wall breaks. It's yeah, yeah superhero I mean, landing. It's so <laughs> like, it's just another layer of humor, and like already the movies have extremely like the action scenes are unique and and shot very well. Like the storytelling is amazing with just how they tell it with kind of the like jumping back from the different time periods to kind of get the overall like feel of the story. Yeah. I I don't I have no idea what's about to happen for this movie though. That's the and that's what what my favorite part about it is. Well, and let's bring ourselves back to some grounded feelings of like what is what have we been shown in the trailer? Okay? A lot of good shit. A lot of good shit. We we've, we've seen cameos. We've seen cameos already of like previous X-Men and previous yeah. X-Men villains that were like yeah. were the actors actually. Yeah. Um one that's coming to mind, who's the fire what's the fire guy? Uh, Pyro. Pyro. <laughs> That's right Come there. Uh, we saw he, like, he's 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 like he's twenty years older. He's in the movie. We like, saw the original Sabretooth. Sabretooth. Yeah. God. That's Tyler, why I don't. That's Tyler why I don't Maine. want. I only saw the first trailer. Obviously, the right. original Sabretooth. I didn't even want to watch that, but like I did, and then they showed that Sabretooth, and I saw it on social media, and I got so mad again. Yeah. The mark because yeah. they get well. First of all, let's just talk about the marketing too. The marketing on this movie has been tremendous yeah i mean they have gone earlier than any movie ever like probably at least 60 days earlier than any movie has ever started speaking on that on the marketing i've uh i've recently seen a movie and they had that like on like just the infomercials like yeah. in the beginning like mm -hmm. like deadpool just talking to us yeah oh yeah like and, come yeah. see us and he's been at like yeah. soccer matches he's yeah there's been, like they, yeah they did a heineken commercial <laughs> uh hugh jackman also did a bachelor they did a bat actually both of them were in a bachelor at commercial i saw they have a i saw an ad at jack in the box today bro? <laughs> they have jack in the box menu bro. items now bro <laughs> that that kind of blew my so, mind so they do jack it to the get everybody is. there right like and it's working but it like you got to keep the story to the best and they've also lied to us with these trailers before so i get a little peeved about that too um, so I really hope that what we see is what we get. I think this is one of those that like Ryan Reynolds is an excellent producer, if nothing yeah. else. So I'm excited. I think they've done a, a pretty good job of keeping a lot of stuff under wraps yeah. for now. Yeah. So a lot of the clips I've been seeing in the trailers and the teasers have been kind of the same thing. Yes, totally. It's always yeah. just the same round. Yeah. I totally agree. And I think it will be, that's why like that's I've smart. known in my heart that it's, this is like a, this is the biggest movie since spider-man no way home and the and since and then in game yeah. like this like and i think that's what it has going for it is that it's just kind of like to fans that aren't deep in it it's just like deadpool and wolverine yeah. and ryan reynolds and hugh jackman but to die hard fans this is like it's happening it's yeah. happening it's happening they really did it and we've been waiting for like a long time for deadpool to be like playing with like the yeah, Hulk, other people, you know? yeah we've he, been yeah. waiting for all of the x characters and he hasn't all even, of the mutant separate. characters he hasn't even played it with the, he hasn't even played with the x-men right True. like he only played with a few a colossus yeah colossus and, and uh jubilee negasonic teenage warhead yeah. Yeah. is that jubilee no <laughs> it's negasonic teenage warhead that's not jubilee though. that is not jubilee man i always thought that like that was jubilee no Freak. I'm mad. Seems like in this movie, like Deadpool is like Wolverine's annoying little brother. Well, and yeah, that's what you know. He's been <laughs> he's been trying to get him to be in this movie forever. And yeah, yeah I mean, you see it right there, Logan, twenty seventeen. He hasn't played Wolverine in seven years, and he looks Long better. Time. He looks like he actually looks twenty years younger than yeah, Logan. Same. You know, well, Logan. yeah, for sure. They they yeah. aged him up. Yeah, I'm so pumped for it, man. Yeah. Uh, they like Sean uh, Sean Levy is the the director I yeah, think yeah. I yeah. mean from the other Deadpool they're on the press easily. tour right now they're in uh in they were in China they were in Europe like they are Hugh and yeah. and Ryan and Sean are just out there I saw them shooting t shirt guns and bubble guns I saw them just they're they're on this like I mean think about this the movie is not out for fifteen sixteen days. Like they are on a the press screening tour that you usually only see for like one week for a film. Yeah, like yeah. It's, we're talking about like four weeks. And they've been doing tour. it back to back. Yes, and like, having the best time ever. Oh yeah, still. Yeah. 
It's like a six week vacation. Even, like Bro. almost even more fun than we're having right now. Yeah, they already made the movie. This is like the payoff. This yeah. is like the parade. And now. Yeah, and they're like, we're amping it up. It's coming. It's yep. here. That's it. Go watch it. All right, guys. Final thoughts on Deadpool Wolverine. Nice job with the claws. Big shout out, <laughs> Sam the Sleeper. Yeah, from yeah Team thank JC. you, Sam. Uh, any these. final thoughts? I feel like I didn't ask you enough, Andy. No, this is just it's like it's the most excited I've been since like No Way Home. It has the same type of vibes as that. Like, it's just you don't know what's gonna yeah, happen. That's cool as shit. And I'm just I'm I'm strapped in, baby. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. LFG got the heart. Got this. <laughs> it's been it's been such a countdown. It's not just the marketing. This has been a long time coming for us. So yeah, we're gonna see this thing early. We're gonna see it ourselves, and we'll see it at the screen and social July 28th. It's going to be a morning show here in St. Louis. Mark your calendars. Keep an eye out for more details. Very limited seating. You're going to have to grab those tickets right when they go up.